All right, so I am working on problem two, which is the prime numbers. So we're making a list from two to n inclusive. So I'm going to grab this. And let's see, we're going to have a prime list. That's going to be an empty set. Okay, and then we are going to loop in the range of two to n plus one. And so we're going to set, we're going to create a, a variable, a boolean, um, and set to true. And this is going to test, be our test for our value. And so we're going to loop again. This time we're going to loop through 2 to i, and we are going to check if i modulo j equals 0. All right, then it's not prime. So we're going to go is prime equals, or equals false, and we are going to break. And so That'll be our condition if it's not. And then if it is prime, we'll come out here. I would think that it's in the same line as the for loop. So, and this means it made it through the for loop, and now it is considered prime because it's moved through the test. And we will do prime list. Well, print list. Prime list. Uh, append, and we will append our number that will be prime, and then we will return our prime list, and that should do it. See, print prime list, and we're going to put 10, and I'm going to do this twice. We have two test cases here. I'll do 10, and I'll do 100. And let's see, we should have two lists of prime numbers. Two, three, five, seven looks perfectly good to me. Let's see if I do 101, should add 101 to the list. And it does, all right. And that should do it. Thank you for watching.